Bethlehem University was founded 40 years ago, and from the beginning, our mission was to serve the people of Palestine. Nell'ottobre del 1973, 112 studenti entrarono nel campus dell'Università di Betlemme. Oggi, come ieri, sono accompagnati dai fratelli lassalliani delle scuole cristiane, che sulle orme del loro santo fondatore sono venuti a costruire il regno di Dio attraverso l'istruzione. Bethlehem University is unashamedly a Catholic university. At the same time, Muslims feel comfortable in coming here. In a country where there's less than 2% uh, Christian, Bethlehem University has a student population made up of some 30% Christian. It's providing them with an opportunity to have a livelihood here. The atmosphere that exists here at Bethlehem University between Muslims and Christians is very much uh, helping to create here in Palestine a more uh, open and a more accepting understanding of one another. In terms of academics, I think a chief virtue among our students is determination. We are only able to accept about one in three students, so those who are accepted, I think, know they have to measure up. In terms of our research initiatives, we're also doing things that we hope will support the people of Palestine. We're beginning a new master's program in governance and public administration to help create the next generation of leaders in Palestinian society. We also have a new master's program in pilgrimage and tourism because we think that this will be one way to contribute to the economic development of Palestine and a future Palestinian state. Perhaps one of the most concrete uh, evidences of the success of our students is that we have graduates who are currently in and have in the past been accepted into world-class master's and doctoral programs around the world many of whom then come back and teach for us. Dodici volte l'università è stata costretta a chiudere a causa del conflitto arabo-israeliano. La chiusura più lunga è durata tre anni. Alcuni professori in quel periodo hanno continuato ad insegnare in clandestinità, in segreto. Staying here by being here, we're believable. If we, if we ran, then our message is lost. We have a lot of visitors coming to Bethlehem University, and I think one of the things that uh, surprises them is they come from outside the campus, onto the campus, and find this a very peaceful place. And the, I think the other thing is that they see students who are laughing, who enjoy being with one another. And I think uh, that sense of this is a, really an oasis of peace for these young people. Many of the students that come to Bethlehem University come from a background that is very restricted and uh, particularly financially. So we have uh, set up through the development office a whole range of uh, scholarships that enable students to, to, to come even though they are uh, restricted financially. We are the most physically accessible campus in the West Bank. We have many students in wheelchairs, we have students who are blind, hearing impaired, and if we accept them, we make a commitment to ensure that they can finish their academic program and graduate four years later. No other university has that and we are recognized for it even internationally. Uh, outstanding example, I suppose, in which we've reached out to students is in a little village north of uh, Ramallah called Kababi, where we offer our nursing program. And uh, my experience up there has just been inspiring and in seeing uh, how students have been transformed and given new life and the impact that it's had on the village in bringing new life to that village. In the area of Gaza, in the last 35 years, we've had probably 400 students from Gaza. This is a very difficult situation now, yet we continue to try to bring them here. I wish to make special mention of the outstanding achievements of Bethlehem University. You daily demonstrate your belief that our duty before God is expressed not only in our worship, but also in our love for all who live in this land. Things here in, in uh, Palestine and Israel are very complicated and at times I can't see how it's possible for peace to come. 
But when I stop and think, if I think back 40 years, I would have said exactly the same thing about Northern Ireland, about South Africa, about Germany, about East Timor. And yet somehow beyond my understanding of how it happened, peace did come. And so that's the hope I hold on to. Ci sono ancora delle sfide aperte, ma gli studenti hanno il futuro nelle loro mani. Fin dal primo corso frequentato da 112 studenti, più di 15.000 ad oggi hanno ottenuto la laurea qui all'Università di Betlemme. I keep coming back to John 10:10. You know, I've come that you may have life and have it in its fullness. I've never worked in a place where it's so obvious that what we're doing is worthwhile. Just to see the pride that they had in having re reached that point of having got to the point of graduating despite the hassles, despite the restrictions. I find it really satisfying to see students taking the opportunity here at Bethlehem University and really growing. One of the things Bethlehem University is doing is helping to build this nation. Founded on truth, built on justice, animated by love.